What is going on guys? Kittymon here, back at it again with another Terraria Tuesday. Um Yo, it's the December update, I think. We got cats wearing Christmas stuff going on. That's pretty cool. Um, in the last video, we ended up doing yet another Blood Moon. Uh, that's the third one already, I'm pretty sure. A golden golden squirrel did you, did you drop anything ah i should use the net <laughs> my bad oh well um yeah so we did another blood moon we attempted skeletron because we've already beaten the eye of cthulhu and so we attempted skeletron and it didn't quite go as well we ended up making a mini arena in here for whenever we do decide to fight the eye of cthulhu um i was gonna blow these up with bombs but um i stopped myself and was like hey do you guys think i should blow these up with bombs and uh so far only we've only had one comment and they were like yeah you, you can blow up the bombs and use glitches just as long as you're not skipping like anything major so I feel like we can do that, plus that way it can allow us to uh, spawn in the goblin armory and get like all of that stuff going, so it could be kind of cool. Um, what am I doing? I got a quick stack. Um, vanity. I'm going to make a vanity chest. Hopefully I spelled that right. <laughs> All right, and then redstone. Water walking potion. Not going to use a gravity potion this time if we when we do go and fight him. Uh, Skeletron, I mean. We're, we're going to fight Skeletron again. Because that, that last attempt I was salty about. And I just didn't do a good job with it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I also need a thing of ore. Specifically lead. Come up here. Make myself a iron skin. Make myself a... We have regen. Potions. A blank root. I don't remember what we need for a uh, swiftness potion. Pause the game and look up a couple things. We need... Oh, wait. Archer Potion is Lens. We did that last time. Uh, mob Drops. Lens. Archery Potion. Um. Hmm. All right. All right, for a swiftness potion, we need a blank root, which we have in our inventory right here, and a cactus out of all things. Good thing we have cactus. Swiftness potion. Why are we using cactus? I don't know, but this game, this game does this game, so this game is cool, you know? <laughs> um we don't really need that that can go in weapons um guess we gotta make a mob spawner chest no way are you kidding me this is our fourth blood moon all right guys you know what also i no, that's mob drops. Seeds, blocks, redstone, wood, armor. Alright, you know what? Um, I'm gonna skip this. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you when this is over. 
<laughs> oh, hey. Yo, things are dropping presents. That's cool. So, um, there's a chance for us to get the, um, the blue moon or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is. But it's the Christmas event, so it's basically like kind of like a blood moon where it's like, or no, not blood moon. Um, it's kind of like the what, what what do I call it? The goblin army where it's like waves of monsters come and attack us. But uh, it's like a bunch of Christmas themed mobs, and I don't know. It's a cool it's a cool event. Um, personally though, I do prefer the Halloween event more. But, um, yeah, it's still pretty cool. So, either way, all the chests, or all the presents that I do get, I won't open them until I get into hard mode, because, yeah, I think it's a hard mode, uh, event. So, just to be on the safe side, to optimize our chances of getting it, I'll open them once we get into hard mode. Alright, it's finally over. Oh my god, dude. Alright, so one, one of the good things about the Blood Moons, though, is we do get a lot of money. And just random drops in general. So, I mean, it's not all bad, but it is kind of annoying to, you know, all of a sudden getting ready to do a boss fight and then... Three gold, dang. But it's like, yeah, getting ready to do a boss fight and then, you know, everything just goes red and you get a bunch of mobs spawning and it just it doesn't really go the greatest um either way we got 18 presents uh 16 16 uh we got 16 lenses which is really good because we can use those for various things like the um uh what, what, what can we use them for archery potions the twins those are about the only main things I can think of. We can sell this stuff, actually. Um, sell this guy. Because we already have one. Do I have a pet's chest? I don't. So, uh, when in doubt, make a new chest. <laughs> I don't even know if that counts as a pet, but we'll go with it. Uh, quick stack, I guess. I'm gonna be Xmas. Alright, so I think. In the meantime, I was gonna say we can try and beat the, like, Skeletron before the Brain of Cthulhu, which is what we're trying to do, just for the challenge, I guess, but I really don't want to wait. I don't, I don't want to wait and just, like, you know, waste time, you know what I mean? So, I think what we're going to do in the meantime is maybe give it a go, see if we beat it right away. If not, um, you know, otherwise we get, um, we, we get the bloody tissue, which we need for the extra armor. So, that, that will help us in the boss fight for Skeletron. I don't think we're going to be able to beat uh, the Brain of Cthulhu on the first try, but we can certainly give it a try. And we made it down to our arena real quick. There's three of them right over here. Mm. Actually, I'm going to go down here and do it. Oh, yeah, and also we get that thing. That thing is going to be helpful. 
pretty much every time we get hit, we get extra regen and movement speed. Oh, not regen, just movement speed. Uh, usually I like to use it, but at the same time, I don't know. Bro. I also think I am going to use Hellfire arrows for these just because better. Don't fall, bro. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Bruh. 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 Screw it. Screw it. Alright, second boss. So our main goal is just to break some of these guys. Holy. V, V. bad spot this is bad this is bad i got 20 seconds before okay whatever so yeah that's the next boss we're usually supposed to beat but um yeah i think i need a better a bigger arena just so i can dodge more however we do now have access to bloody tissues so i'm not sure how many we got we have nine on us but I also noticed that we did leave a handful on the arena. So we're going to go back and grab those real quick. Make more potions. And then try and beat Skeletron. Because Skeletron's a little bit easier to dodge in my opinion. Um, I also don't know what secondary ability both of those guys have. I just killed a butterfly? What? Okay, an extra three. Oh man. I also realize I'm not utilizing my uh, grappling hook all that much. All right, so we got nine of those. We need crimsonite ore now. Crimsonite ore. Or crimsonite. I know it's crimtain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to calling it crimsonite though. Um make more of these and then we can make We're making the pickaxe first. I don't care. We're making the pickaxe first. That's probably gonna be the most useful out of all of that because that way I'm, i might just do it i might just go down to the to the underworld and we can get some armor <laughs> some good armor and then still lose to these bosses because i'm not the best at this game <laughs> oh man um 
Yeah, I'm gonna quickly make some more potions. We sadly can't make a swiftness potion because we don't have blank root on us, but I mean... Oh well. Mob drops, lenses. I'm going with regen. I really should move this just so we don't have to scroll through all of this every single time. So yeah, archery potion, regen, and iron skin. So yeah, we'll give Skeletron one more go, even though we're gonna arrive there pretty late already. But I mean, oh well. Actually, just because of that, I'm going to toss this guy on. Because you can already see the, the speed increase that it gives us when we get hit. Dang, we're going to arrive there super late. It's already going to be like halfway through the night. Jeez. Oh, well, I think we're, we're coming up on the, the dungeon right now, I believe. Oh, we got a desert. All right, we made it. Uh, and I'm going to go... Put this guy back on because it gives us health boost. Going to toss that right there actually kind of a rare drop i thought that we could only get that in hard mode goes to show how much i know <laughs> all right and then panic necklace i'm gonna put that in place of our shield because in all honesty i think we don't really need the shield um i'm gonna throw the shield on <laughs> okay spawn that right there and then we're just gonna talk to this dude. Curse him. Quick buff. And now we're in. Oh, what do you mean, bro? Get that dude out of here. What are these hits I'm getting? Quick. Uh, yep, heal. We're primarily going for his hands. That's my goal right now. Why is he so fast? more seconds get juked spamming heal no oh i should have healed i should have just kept spamming i double jumped on accident because v is right next to the space bar oh that was that was better than the last try i will say that that was a lot better than whatever my last attempt at that was I think it's doable, but it's going to take us some precision accuracy, and I don't think I have the skill for that. <laughs> All right. Um, change of gears. Since we did kind of go for the whole, oh, let's get bloody tissues approach to things, I'm thinking let's go get ourselves some Hellstone armor. That way... You know, best armor in easy mode, and I won't completely die. Every How many worms was that? Did you see that? There's like a bunch of worms that just fell all at once. 
that's pretty wild so we're, we're just gonna we're full sending it trying to make it to the underworld real quick the goblin army oh man so now we have the goblin army spawning in real quick i'm still in the underworld i don't believe that the goblin army actually like can kill us while we're underground but either way we made it to the uh to the underworld real quick i sadly don't have my handy dandy obsidian skull on so that's why i started burning just then because i was clipping the corner right here but we need a lot of this so we're gonna have to get acquainted with the underworld real quick like and it's all about precision and draining it's just terraria physics that's what we're dealing with here the goblin army has approached from the east now we have that dude dealing with all right cool got that dude out of the way wrong button come on i was gonna spawn this guy in Oh well. I have to deal with this stupid thing. Either way, it's not that stupid because this is an easy mode boss uh, wave thing. And uh, it also allows us to combine a lot of items that we already have currently. So, yeah. I guess uh, in the next video, we'll go and collect ourselves some... Uh, what, what are we going to collect ourselves? Some Hellstone in the next video. Once we finish beating this boss real quick. I guess I can't parry arrows. I can parry magic though. Partially. Either way, you can see in the bottom corner here. That it's a percentage deal. So we basically just have to kill a certain amount of them. yeah it doesn't matter how many times we die we're gonna die quite a bit but yeah just as long as we deal a certain amount of damage to them then we we should be good man we've got wizards spawning in our house It's gonna be the arrows. The arrows is what's gonna kill us. Like, bruh. Oh, yeah, and also we can get these things. These, uh, spike balls, right? And throw them on our arenas. And that way, pretty much every single movement the boss makes, they'll just be getting damaged by something. Dang. I hate the goblin army. I mean, I know it's... We'll, we'll be able to kill him eventually. Like, even if we kill one dude every single life, it just takes so long. I don't know. Wave... Wave... Uh, mobs, like wave bosses, I don't really care too much for... God, the stupid arrow dudes! You, The arrow dudes are the most annoying pieces of character in this boss fight. Because everything else is just walking slowly or sprinting towards you. Casting magic that you can just smack away like that and not take any damage from. It's like, jeez, dude. The arrows, you, you can't do anything about the arrows. And it's like you have these dudes that are just like shields, basically. They have so much health. Holy. See, if I had the water bolt right here, this would be amazing. Holy, bro. They're just dipping. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them jumping off. Dang, dude. 
Up to 52%. Let's go. Stupid arrow dudes. And they take more knockback than those guys. So it's like... Oh my god, dude. It's just dying over and 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 over. And then you get the graveyard biome starting to spawn in. And then you have to deal with more monsters. And then it's like, oh my god, bro. I'm getting bamboozled by everything. And it's just like, bro. Chill the frick out. I can't even move, I swear. Fine. You want to play arrow game? Can't even sort through my inventory right now. It's over. It's over. I think. I don't see a percentage in the corner right now, so... I mean, the music's still going, so it's obviously not over. Oh, is this like one of those things where you have to find the last remaining one to get the thing to fully end? Probably like somewhere down here or something. Where is this amigo at? He's not all the way down here. Okay. Alright, so it's gone. We're gone. We're good. So now, what that means for us is you're probably thinking, oh, that was pointless. You probably got a couple items. No game progress whatsoever happened. Well, no. Not entirely. Pretty much now, what we're able to do is we're able to find a dude named the Goblin Tinker in the underground biome. So pretty much anything like from, from down here... To like down here you can find the goblin tinker like anywhere in a normal underground biome area and uh he sells rocket boots which is really handy uh i don't really go for rocket boots though just because that's not really my setup the main thing that i love to grab is a tinkerer's workbench which allow us which allows us to combine items so like this cloud in a bottle i can combine that with the balloon that we got and then on top of that i can combine that with a golden horseshoe or lucky horseshoe which negates all fall damage so there's a bunch of items you can combine and it just gives you so many more perks than just you know these five slots that are available so it pretty good man we also need obsidian to make hellstone and a hellstone forge. So, um, yeah, we have some cool things that we're looking forward to. Uh, I'm going to just do one of these real quick and then I guess we'll sort through it later. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to end it here. And uh, in the next video, we're going to go down, try and attempt to find the goblin tinkerer. Uh, we're going to also grab a hellforge and start working on making hellstone armor that way we have better armor and take more hits when we're fighting like the brain of cthulhu uh skeletron and then after we beat those guys i'm thinking we can go over to the jungle biome and then get ourselves the blade of grass oh and also we can make ourselves the volcano from you know the hellstone we grab in the next video so then we'll have everything but the masamura which we find in the dungeon and then we can combine it and make the best sword in easy mode which is pretty appealing i'm not gonna lie um so yeah i guess i will call her there and i hope you all enjoyed i know it was a little bit of a chaotic episode but Hopefully it was all right. Either way, I'll see you all in the next one. Join me next Tuesday for some more Terraria. And I will see you all in the next one.
Bye.